Geek Dad Life presents Toy Geeks, a live toy talk show. Tonight, we're going to recap all of the reveals from today's Hasbro Pulse Fan Fest event. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the special Friday edition of Toy Geeks. My name is Jay, and with me, as always on this adventure, my good friend John. John, how are you doing tonight? Good, sir. I'm doing good. How are you, Jay? Uh, I am doing all right. Excited to be talking uh, toys after... Uh, uh, let's just say there were some cool reveals mm -hmm. <laughs> tonight. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I will say I was a little... Um, I was whelmed, I guess. I wasn't mm -hmm. unwhelmed, but I was whelmed. Just so whelmed. I, I, I was evenly whelmed. <laughs> Uh, I think there's some really cool things, some amazing things, uh, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I, I think there was just the same things. That, ah, that makes sense. That seems like a pretty that, that good reveal, I guess. Um, so uh, it will break it all down, all of the reveals from today's Hasbro Pulse uh, Fan Fest uh, that happened today on the YouTubes from 11 to <laughs> three o'clock or whatever last night. but uh, did uh, did anything come of the the fan fest party last night or whatever it was for reveals yeah um they showed uh domino and cannonball two pack okay which, so now you can get cannonball with legs <laughs> okay all right and it's it's you know it's like their comic uh comic style mm -hmm. so it looks like it looks like the the um the domino from like the old toy biz Mm -hmm. early hasbro legends two pack yep yep but uh yes i believe uh it's i think toy shiz posted a picture of it uh, where did it go man there's so many posts on his page that <laughs> he's going back 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 <laughs> there we go hold on yeah it's kind of like the uh let's see share screen the first appearance look mm -hmm. right yep boom and there's a picture going around where it's domino and just the legs of cannonball <laughs> oh my gosh uh so yeah that was yesterday's so that's cool i guess um but still a lot more that uh, that was dropped today and an insane an insane optimus prime toy that i'm really excited to talk about but uh so we'll go in order uh so it was fortnite transformers gi joe uh star Wars. Uh, Marvel Star Wars, I believe, was the, the full thing. Uh, in the chat, we got people already chatting it up. Bo and Kaggle uh, with a, a very muscular Jar Jar Binks uh, in his profile picture. <laughs> uh, All Music fan is in the house. Good to see you, All Music. Bo Winkle 80. Good to see you, Bo Winkle. Nightmare 10880. Good evening. Good evening, uh, Adam Smedberg, Bernie Davis. Hey, guys. Uh, any new toy you want or like? For sure. I think we'll close out the show. By money is no object. What is what would you what would you buy from today's events, uh, John? I already pre-ordered the thing that I wanted to buy. Uh, <laughs> don't know how I'm going to pay for it, but still, uh, Riley Bob is here. Howdy, doodly, everybody. Scott D is here. Hello, hello, hellos all around. Uh, again, make sure you hit that like button if you haven't done it already. A uh, little bit of housekeeping. Uh, one, it's a mini puff kind of week, so the mini puffs. Reveal the fun little clip uh, from Ghostbusters. Did a little breakdown of that on the channel earlier this week. Uh, and then the next day, uh, you know, Ectoplasm was one of those things I was hoping Hasbro would bring back. And it, it's this kind it's kind of Ectoplasm a little Is bit. It? The mar marshmallow minis. So like <laughs> in in the little tub, it's marshmallow goo. Oh, oh, really? Like fluff? Yeah, what yeah. Is... Marshmallow fluff, like marshmallow slime or whatever. And then uh the little characters inside oh see i thought it was like blind box things i didn't get to watch your video yet i thought it was like blind box characters that came in cans i've heard it's like a goo a marshmallow slime and then the the characters are in the slime so if that's the case that's how i hope it goes but that's <laughs> that's just me i hope uh, it is i'm a huge fluff fan uh jump in general happy friday this channel is better than toys R Us now okay that's I appreciate it. That's high praise. It's That's high generous. Praise. It's very generous. But Toys R Us, I don't know. I don't know if it can be better than that. 
Uh, Bernie Davis, love the mini puffs. Baby Yoda better watch his back. I know. I, I feel like I can challenge the Baby Yoda on the c- uh, cuteness. Uh, nice face in that pic. Yes, uh, <laughs> that's how it goes. Hey, Gary's in the house. What's up, guys? I'm actually Hello. doing live runs. Good to have you here, Gary. Welcome. You don't know, we've mentioned him many times in our toy halls. It's like, well, Gary found yeah. this for us. And uh, this is that Gary. <laughs> I think most of my classified and origins collections are from Gary's finds. <laughs> oh, but um, anyway, all right. So uh, anything else, John, before we dig into to the stuffs tonight? No, I think we just need to jump in. Um, but I guess before that, was there any Ghostbuster reveals for the Plasma series? <gasps> no. <laughs> but it, it wasn't it wasn't teased or anything. There was no Ghostbusters. No. They uh, were straightforward. Panel. They were yeah. straightforward that it was not going to happen. Um, so that makes sense. Uh, but if you were if you were a Ghostbusters fan and you you tuned in, you were just going to have a bit of this feeling. Um, but again, you know, they kind of just kept revealing Ghostbusters stuff outside of all of these events, which is just so they, mm. you know, the the mini puffs, uh, surprise cans. And then, you know, the Kenner Classic stuff happened outside of these events, which I found interesting. Uh, Darth- uh, Dartherian is here. Good to see you, Dartherian. Uh, Nelson uh, is here as well. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, Nelson. Um, so, yes, uh, that is what's going on. Let's start with Fortnite. So let me pull it up here. Um, where did it go? Where did it go? All right. So Fortnite was interesting. Uh, one, I don't play the game, so I have no, uh, I don't know. Oh, here, here, here's a breakdown. So Fortnite's first Transformers Power Rangers, G.I. Joe, Marvel, Star Wars. So it started with Fortnite. I have no skin in the game on Fortnite. I think for both of us, John, right? Yep. Yeah. I've, I know very little about it other than it seems to be some kind of addiction. Well, it's like a video game and I yeah. get that. It's like a shoot 'em up kind of game where you mm-hmm. want players or whatever, but the toys are kind of cool. Like this dude's neat. Yeah, the toys look really good. Um, so you know this this one's got it's a little clear, it's a little fishbowl head guy. He's got translucent plastic. So the toys are cool. And you know, I think Toy Galaxy. He's like into the toys, but I don't know if he mm-hmm. played the game either. But like, he looks really cool. Um, this cat person looks really neat. That looks like it's a good base for a custom Catwoman. Yep. It gets a bit of a Mewtwo kind of feel to it as well. Um, that's, po- that's Pokemon. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's the, 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 I don't know, most powerful Pokemon, Pokemon, if I remember correctly. Um, so that's pretty, those were cool. Um, this, I think this is this like Meowsers or something like that. Uh, I don't know. It's, it was like, it's like mouse. Uh, it's like yeah, uh, something, something mouth uh, muscles or something, something like Mousles, that. Mousles, mousels. That. Uh, okay. So again, if you're a Fortnite fan, I apologize, but I will say this pinata shark thing. That's cool. This is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want this. I want it yes. so bad. The and fact I, that it is is uh, gums exposed when you open the mouth that yeah. they said. You know, they said that's crazy. <laughs> it's almost like um this is sort of like um like a super deformed jaws sort of series or something like that mm-hmm. I'm, yeah i'm really into it yeah it's really cool uh you know if i know the game you have to try and find weapons so this must be a feature in the game where you can like catch a shark and cut them open and all this stuff comes out but one this is totally a, re- a, a nod to the hoverboard right with these colors on these skis That's- yeah yeah absolutely um and uh and yeah so you can i guess just you know crack this <laughs> shark open <laughs> and he's full of you know all these weapons which i thought was really cool um yeah here we go there's the like that is so neat it is <laughs> so, again i i have no uh desire for any Fortnite toys but if i see this on the toy shelf i'm probably gonna pick it up i think it's really really cool yeah um, mm-hmm. and uh that's that's that for me uh let's see dartherian th- says uh, fun looking figures but no interest for me i've seen some of the stuff uh uh, uh toy galaxy and Frouche goes off on but it's never charming same here same here but this shark i'm in i'm in 
Uh, Bruce the shark fish are friends, <laughs> not food. Um, Josh still looks fake. The shark still looks fake. Um, so again, you can put the little skis on it. I mean, that's pretty neat. Um, it needs like a flight stand or something to hold it up right. like that. You're right. Um, I'm sure an enterprising uh, customizer could probably mm -hmm. do something like that, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Riley about Fortnite, much like mumble rap is for the children. <laughs> Never had <laughs> my interest. I, I agree. I agree. This is definitely for a younger demographic, but I, I can appreciate a good toy. And this is a good toy for sure. Um, so I think that I think that closed out the Fortnites. Oh, and then uh, this dude, which is the exclusive uh, one that they are selling on uh, the Hasbro website. Looks cool. Yeah, Character. I mean, it looks like it could fit in with classic uh, a bunch of yeah a bunch of different toy lines. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, what did you think of this little uh, trivia game thingy? This is pretty much when I zoned out. <laughs> <laughs> you know they put up the qr code yeah I think they did it before right before yep, the, it, it, the panels it, 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 would start it, 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 yeah yeah i kind of i kind of zoned out i really didn't pay attention i was still trying to work and do mm -hmm. you know watch this pay attention to it yeah. i'm like all right trivia time i'm taking a break well, it's it's the pee break right it's like yeah. I don't, <laughs> and um but it's it still was cool it's you know kind of engaging with fans you know, I, I give Hasbro credit for trying to make things that, you know, uh, make it more engaging for mm -hmm. playing at home. So it's neat. I, it was a neat system. Uh, out of the new things they tried that uh, this go around, uh, this was a nice ad. Better than the, I don't know, whatever the like, shooting the ghosts on the screen. For yeah, better than the the bad ecto popper game. Yeah, exactly. We're trying uh, to do that was terrible. This at least seemed really cool. So I, I, I'll give them a little bit of. A kudos there all right so that's Fortnite. again there was an exclusive figure he may have already sold out by this point um let's take a quick look on the hasbro pulse page let's go to new uh that stupid thor sold out like immediately uh the koska did as well mm -hmm. looks like and where is it? here on the front page let me just a little further down now uh, oops, snap, not that. Let's go. Oh, dang, the arc sold out too. Snap. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah, I almost pre ordered that one and I was like, eh, I don't really need it. I don't have room for it, but I want <laughs> it. It's still on Big Bad, I think. Is it? Okay. Well, yeah. that's, that's always good. Um, It's not even on here. Anyways, all right, I'll look for it later. Okay, uh, let's move on to what who I think the star of the show was in the second uh, brand that came up, and that was uh, the Transformers reveals. Uh, I, I think they stole the show, you know, Absolutely. in terms of what they revealed and having a, the big surprise uh, was definitely transformers and every every toy they unveiled i thought was like a banger it was a hit um mm -hmm. so uh first up but i will say and again i was watching this on mute while i was in a meeting so uh, i couldn't really hear what they were saying <laughs> but the i it's you know like you're kind of like watching it and i think i was in a meeting at the time and let's see it, where is the moment he pulled yeah here it is oh yeah yep he pulls the little micro. I was like, what is he doing with his beard? <laughs> pulls the micro <laughs> Optimus Prime out of his beard. Well, he, he said, it, like at the beginning of the panel when they first came on, and she uh, she said something about how his beard is like, uh, it's grown from a mustache since they uh -huh. last since they last seen each other. Yeah, yeah. So he said, you know, this this hides something that you'll see a little bit later. So weird. <laughs> but he, he's lucky it didn't fall out, you know, I prior. Know <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, the arc, this thing seem is awesome. I mean, again, I don't have room for it. And I was like, ah, this is really cool. And they had the Voyager discs in it, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the little records. Um, and this console. 
and uh, just it's it's pretty big. It's not huge, but I don't know. I think it's it's the first time we're getting uh, the arc, right? Yeah, outside of like a um, they did like an action fl- or not action fleet, but sort of like a die cast small one, you mm-hmm. know. Um, but this is yeah, this is like the best representation of the arc that's ever been mm-hmm. it's it has like little blast effects on the engines which is cool and i think it's a pretty decent size you know i mean it is not to scale i mean it's because a little optimist and it comes with it. it's <laughs> absolutely not to scale but right uh it's still pretty darn cool yeah i mean i think it's in scale because i think they use like the same um like the thigh portions are have been reused since Fort Max and Metroplex. Um, so it'll scale well, you know, in bot mode f- with all the other Titan class. Sure, sure, sure. Um, <laughs> but I mean, I overall, it's a it's a home run set again. Yeah, the discs like that is really cool. Like this is a really, really cool set. Yeah. And that thing transform transforms into a robot too. Yeah, exactly. Um, box art looks great, and this is straight up retail release, right? This isn't exclusive anywhere, is it? Yeah, I think it's it's you know anywhere. Yeah, as far as I as far as I know. So maybe if it shows up at a store, I might pick it up. But yeah, so Autobot mainframe. Quest, the arc. Like, oh, it's so freaking cool. <laughs> it's so neat. It's so neat. Like, and and kudos to you, John, because that was your that was your prediction. Now, are those is this the confirming those leaked images? Was that what we saw? Was it this one or is it something different? I'm trying to remember. I now. think it was like the the one on the very bottom of the box where it's you see the front end of it towards yeah. you. Yep. Um, I think it was that, but the picture that was floating around was, you know, it was like an inch square. Like it was yeah. so small that you could barely, you could tell it was the arc, mm-hmm. but what was it? You know, was it a, you know, just like a static ship? Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think there was any rumors that it would actually transform. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. That is true. I think it's cool. I, I think it's, it's really, really cool. It's really neat. Um, and I'm sure they're bound to make you know, tiny figure mm-hmm. packs, you know, you can yep. get an entire army, fill your beard up. <laughs> <laughs> so again, really cool. All right. Next up, Rodimus prime hot rod. Looks great. Um, I don't really, I, to me, I have the, I have most, I collect vintage G one. Mm-hmm. While these are great. I just, I stick to vintage, but I can appreciate how, We've got the Winnebago. And so the, the one problem with the vintage Winnebago Rodimus Prime is the actual like robot looks a little lanky, looks kind of lame. Yeah. Um, but this gives you like it's just a straight hot rod that then plugs in uh, to the Winnebago. Uh, so I, I thought that was a really nice. I don't know. I think this is another really good set. Yeah. This is, you know, looking at it when he, you know, when he has it in robot mode with the trailer and he's in the gunner gunner station. I think it's like, it looks so much like a masterpiece. Yes. At a, at a retail price. Yeah. It's a great set. It's a really good set. Yeah. This is one that, you know, I'm not really big on transformers Mm -hmm. for like G one style. I love beast wars. This one. I definitely get, this is Mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. It's again, to me, it's because it gives you, it gives you a really good just car like vehicle hot rod mm-hmm. and gives you the win of, like it's the best of both worlds which is really cool yep um which is i'm trying to remember like i don't know if they've done that yet have i have they done like giving you both like a good hot rod and a good rodimus prime yeah i don't i don't know maybe um, i mean maybe uh a mass the masterpiece one maybe yeah. but maybe or maybe like a third party yeah, maybe yeah, that's true. Uh, Classic Extra is in the house. Going to see CAF. Uh, Rodimus looks great. Agreed. Um, was hoping Kingdom Core figs would have scaled with the arc. If that's the case, the arc would have had to have been 
how big? That would be the size of your automobile that you drive. <laughs> <laughs> Northern says he thinks the tiny octopus was included in last year's weapons pack too. So hopefully they make more. Hmm. Uh, Bullwinkle says I'm keeping it in arc mode all the time. I think it looks good in arc mode. So I, I think that's perfectly fine. Um, Todd Smith is in the house. Good to see you, Todd. Uh, it's a really good modern Rodimus with weapons platform, but I got the power of primes one. That was all right. Yeah. Again, I think, just another really good reveal and it looks fantastic again if i look at that it has little you know hydraulic little gears yeah. it's got like real metal pistons that's yeah. crazy and you can put you can look it's got it's a trailer so you can put another car in there <laughs> that's just awesome really good artwork looks great that's a big box too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think it's just really sick. Uh, and a Galvatron looks great. Uh, you know, I, I think I have a vintage Galvatron. It's mm -hmm. awful. I hate the vintage Galvatron. <laughs> it's like a, just like a tube. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, it's, but uh, <laughs> this Galvatron looks awesome. Uh. So again, like just another really good looking transformer. Mm -hmm. um, CAF agrees. Uh, the artwork on all of the boxes is awesome. Yeah, it looks fantastic. But this Galvatron looks really good. It does. This okay. Galvatron is uh, it probably the best one in my opinion. Yeah. You know, even though I don't have it in hand to critique it, but I mean, look at that's like. Look at that face. It's like a Megatron face. It's just, it's, it hits that note perfect. Yep. Absolutely. Like, it's just a really good head sculpt. Yeah. I, I, again, I, it's not a character that I had any desire for. Like, I need to have this figure, but I'm just, it's like, it just looks so good. <laughs> like, that to me is like a testament of you made a good figure. It's like, I didn't want it, but now I want it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <You know? laughs> um, so, <laughs> that's so that's awesome it's just... i wish i do wish they made it light up that's one thing i do miss yeah. on a lot of these yes. newer toys mm. jeremy art is here is art is here happy Fr uh, friday gdl crew i hope everyone's wallet isn't hurting too bad after all the announcements this week <laughs> hey listen it only took one thing to destroy my future budget um <laughs> <laughs> but still really cool reveal uh, and then we got some more Beast Wars. This one looks crazy good. And then there's was it? Yeah, here it is. It's like a little fly in his in his uh, pinch. Yeah. It's a, it's a cyber bee. Oh, really? Okay. All right. Yeah. Again, I was mm -hmm. watching on mute, so I, I didn't hear the. Yeah. The, the, the original Beast Wars counterpart came with that oh, as, okay. as well. Yep. God, just look at awesome. it. They're doing such a good job with these, you know, where a lot of like the old Beast Wars, you know, like the, mm -hmm. the, uh, like the body parting lines didn't line up that good. Yeah. You know, everything was kind of like a little wonky, but the mm -hmm. way that they're doing like the beast modes now, mm -hmm. it, it, it looks so good. Yes. Agreed. Agreed. Um, and again, some more of these, and again, I don't know the character's name, so I'm, I'm bad at this game. It looks like, I'm sorry, it's uh, Wing Wing Finger. Wing Finger, yeah. I wrote it down. I was looking for, for <laughs> looking for it on my list. But it's just really, it's just a cool toy. And it then is. I think now they can combine to form like a super dude. Yeah, the the other like um, Paleo Trex, and then there's another one that can, can uh, combine to make these like Skeleton Dinos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't know if I if I'd be if I was a T Rex guy I'd be ticked that I was the crotch once this was off. The <laughs> the but other than that, it's pretty cool. Well, you can't be the 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 <laughs> upper body because you just have tiny little arms. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right, uh, let's move along here. Oh oh oh! Boom! Look at that. So good, man. 
it's mm-hmm. hard. It's hard not to just jump in and start buying all these. Right. And that was, you know, cause I'm, I was, I was trying to, again, I, I, I try to stick vintage and this mm-hmm. is facts, right? I'm, yep. Yeah. Um, so I, I really, I, again, it's just, there's so many transformers. They've done such a great over like now really since the er, mid two thousands, they've been kind of just c- continually making transformers based off of G one transformers. So I just mm-hmm. said, I'm so sick to vintage. But gosh, just recently, I just, I kind of, like, every time I see one, I'm like, ah, oh, that's really cool. Yep. I know. I'm, like, I'm so into the, you know, like, the, what, Chug, you know, classics, you mm-hmm. know, Hunt for the Decepticons, all those, like, the classics versions of G1s. Yep. And it's like, every time there's a new line, it's like, they'll take that one, they make it better, they make yep. it better. Exactly. Like they just, they'll do that same G1 character and just keep making it better. I know. Bastard um and then it was funny now if, did i miss some big you know like a desire for the transformers fans really wanting a rhinox because in the chat like it was just like rhinox rhinox rhinox, rhinox. yeah mm-hmm. um, uh well they they got uh their their wishes uh came true uh with a uh rhinox uh beast wars figure which I guess is kind of cool. He's a little, he's a little thick uh, in yeah. Rhino mode, but <laughs> <laughs> it looks good, and it, it's crazy that the people were asking for it so much because there was a Rhinox in like the, the the Thrilling Thirty Generation series, mm-hmm. so it hasn't been that long since a, a Rhinox was on the shelves. Yeah, I didn't know if it was like a vocal minority kind of thing, but I swear it, like, every like fourth. <laughs> Yeah, it was mm-hmm. top exclusives or Rhinox was like every other. <laughs> <laughs> um, but still looks pretty cool. Uh, and then who's this guy? Let me look it up again. I'm buying. Um, I I don't remember. I stopped watching for a few minutes during this guy. Um, yeah. and this whatever this class was called, I don't remember. Core class. I mean, it looks kind of cool. I would have done a little bit something other than just all green. Mm-hmm. Yep, I agree. But, you know, that's cool. Uh, again, just sound wave. My, I, I, if I had to pick my favorite, probably my favorite Transformers or Transformer. Mm-hmm. But again, like that, this one, I'm just like, eh, I, I, Nothing will beat the G1 for me, and I, I have the G1, and they re-release the G1 however many times. Yep. So it's cool. And boom, there you go. There, there they all are. Just again, I, they're just killing it. Absolutely killing it. All right, let's see. Oh, and then we've got some more for Cybertron, this exclusive. Uh, which, did that go up on the site? I think so. I think it did. Let me see if it's if it's sold out or not. Oh, I can't see. And I think this guy, this Triceratops guy, can also be a combiner. I think. Uh, yes, it is the Tricranus Beast Power Fire Blast Collection Pack. Oh. And it is still available. So. <laughs> Get it while it's hot. Get it while it's hot. Uh, and then I think the next one was the blur, shattered glass blur. Yep. Which I think CAF said he pre ordered. It's got the little kind of shattered glass motif paint job. It's pretty cool. I really dig the head sculpt with the eye patch and the mm-hmm. scar. Yep. Pretty dope. Yeah, look at that. It is. Looks good. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. A little bit of a grin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Again, they're just doing like they're getting so many more like the Megatron, just the head sculpts are so much better. All right. And then okay. You and I are both big Jay and Silent Bob fans. So mm-hmm. uh it was cool uh for them to be here. Like this was a moment as I was in a meeting and just kind of keep an eye on. And then it's just one of those things where, you know, they're talking about this 
Optimus Prime, like, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Had Optimus Prime, <laughs> the masterpiece one right there, the first masterpiece one right there. And I was like, oh, that looks pretty cool. That's pretty neat. That's that's nice. Um, and uh, so I just I didn't really have any expect. And I think the, the what was the phrase like something's going to turn the Transformers world upside down. Yep. or whatever. And uh, so again, it's kind of like half paying attention. And uh, and then it starts to uh, there, yeah, and then it transforms, and <laughs> mind blown, like absolutely insane. crazy, game game changer, and it like it like they said it 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 has like a breathing. You know, yeah, like, like, yeah. He, like he puffs his chest, you know, when his yeah. arms go out just a little bit. Like, I can't even, I still don't believe it. Like, it, it's, it's every kid's dream that played <laughs> with a Transformer. Mm -hmm. That it could transform itself. And, oh, and it's not even that it just transform itself, because that would be a good one trick. But it's like a full-on robot. Like it, <laughs> all this, like it moves around and and again, I was just like, "What is this?" I know. And it has <laughs> voice. Like what? <laughs> it's the beginning of the end. This is T two stuff right here. Right. <laughs> like oh, and as Peter Cullen's voice, I, I, it's, I, like oh my god, I, I just. I, you know, in this world of technology and everything, mm -hmm. not in a million years. And for what it is, I mean, it transforms so smooth. I know. It's it's it's, it's so fluid. It's unbelievable. Just, it doesn't. <laughs> it defies logic, and it it makes sense that this is um, the company that does this that they partner with Robosyn, the robot company. Yep. Like it literally, it did have the feeling of, and it even drives when it's in when it's in vehicle mode, and the the headlights light up. <laughs> like what? I it I it just again I'm still speechless mm -hmm. about how well this thing turned out. And again, it, like I think I was talking about the ro uh, Robos and the robot company. It's like one of those things you see like in Japan with the Honda robot and stuff. Yeah. Like what? Can could oh you imagine God. being Kevin Smith and getting this sent to you and they say, All right, you're just gonna like talk to it, you know? And, uh -huh. and you know how his attitude and he's like, Oh, this is probably gonna is this gonna come alive and kill me in the night? <laughs> <laughs> and then he starts it up and you know, there's thousands of people watching this. Don't yeah. really get get the you know the full effect because it's not in front of you. But sure. you know, he's like the first person in the public not involved in it, and he just does it and it blows your mind a thousand times over yeah <laughs> like it's so freaking cool so it to me it's like okay i said whelmed for this event mm -hmm. this at this point i was like this is insane this is a game changer <laughs> it is uh i believe bernie davis kind of said uh, my similar feelings i was like small soldiers vibe yep. it is literally it is the movie technology that you never thought would exist in small soldiers. It's that level. And I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just absolutely blown away. And I think towards the end, yeah, he did the power pose. Like yeah. what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Wow. I can't wait until they get a Megatron and then they do a, you know, a software update so they can battle. Oh, oh my God. God! Yes. Oh. oh, that's unbelievable. He's doing like bodybuilding poses, like he's I on know. a stage. <laughs> <laughs> one will stand and one will fall. Like, come on! Oh, yes, unbelievable. And they oh have the attachments with the axe and the gun. Oh, look! And it was doing this. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> get out of here yeah the freedom is the right of all sentient beings oh. 
Sam Newsom toy of the year. There's no mm-hmm. way it's not the toy of the year. This is the most amazing toy of the decade. Like this is to the level by, of which I never thought toys would get to. And I live in 2021. <laughs> Now, when, you know, when we're asking for like a, an attack track that drives, you know, in the new origins line mm-hmm. or a spy door that walks, they're like, oh, we can't do that. Like, have you seen Optimus? Yeah. Have you seen it? <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly. Wow. Wow. Uh, I want Gorgonites. I agree. Like, I think I said, as we were texting throughout the day, I was like, they need to I, I, the small soldiers does not have the appeal. You. It's my turn. Yeah. Oh, wait, sorry. This one <laughs> is. Um, uh, but. Oh, my God. Like, I, it would be awesome if they did small soldiers. Like, there's no way they'll do it. But it'd be amazing if they did. Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah. Um, uh, Six ninety nine is the price. So, OK. Let's talk about the price. It is pricey, mm-hmm. but look at what it does. Right. Mm-hmm. The the uh, Thunder Tank is 500 something like that. Yeah. Which is amazing. I did order it. Oh. I did order it. Okay. We'll talk about it at the next t- regular. <laughs> I did order it. Spoiler alert. Uh, um, but I'll tell you what. That took me like two months to like really stew over. Mm -hmm. I immediately went and pre-ordered this. (laughs) (laughs) But, you know, I don't think that the, the price of this is bad at all. I think it's, I think it's cheap. If you, it's yeah. a, it's a freaking robot yeah. in the overall span of things. I mean, people go out and spend 1500 bucks on a phone that they're going to replace in a year. Yeah. Without question. Mm-hmm. The amount of technology that's in this Optimus. Yeah. Is a good price for $700. Whew. Uh, yeah. And I, so to me, I was like, and again, another part of it was like, I want to pay till it ships. So I got time to <laughs> <laughs> you got time to sweat it. Yeah. <laughs> but um but I was just like I it was like it, it was the most uh direct shut up and take my money moment. <laughs> like I was just like I'm I I need this. There's no mm-hmm. way I'm not going to have this thing. Cuz again like it, it's it's the stuff that as a kid you could only imagine a toy company actually doing. Mm-hmm. And for that, to me, the whole, while the whole thing was pretty run of the mill, nothing too crazy, like, but this is revolutionary. I, I think yeah. um, mm-hmm. as far as toys go like, wow. Uh, <laughs> Damn, Newsom. Flip it for profit. If your wife threatens you with a divorce, <laughs> Luckily, she's not watching right now. I'm pretty sure she's not watching right now. Uh, she won't make it this far in. We've been for 38 minutes. No way she makes it this far in. So I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm safe. Unless one of you guys in the next show at the beginning, she's around and you guys talk about how much this thing is. Just psh, if you see yeah, Colleen in the chats, just don't talk about the price. I'm looking at you, PD dubs, or or uh, I think usually old school usually blows it, but uh, <laughs> Chief Honder, uh, move over Furby, the new robot toys in town. This takes, you know, I, it would be amazing if they had a little video of like this Optimus, like picking up the, the Furby and drop kicking it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See old school. He knows old school knows he would spoil it for me with the misses. <laughs> the word old school. <laughs> Um, they can use this tech for Chucky or Teddy Ruxman. Please, God, don't use it for Chucky. No. Like Hasbro, if you're watching this, you're probably not. But if you're watching this, beat you have to. With great power comes great responsibility. There are certain things you do not use this technology for, and you do not use it for a Chucky. You no. do not use it for a T800 or T1000 toy. Like there's certain things you just cannot use this tech for. <laughs> <laughs> Just small soldiers, and transformers. That's it. Uh, <laughs> but even small soldiers might be dangerous. But whatever, I really would love like yeah. a Chip Hazard. Uh, for, like, and it does. It makes all the moves that Chip Hazard or the all of the Gorgonauts 
and and or Gorgonites and uh, uh, all the soldiers did. Like mm. it is, it is the same tech. I mean, it would pr- you know all they gotta do is put a skin over it. It's really just yeah. a skeleton in there, I it imagine. Is. But again, they may not do it because probably part of this price is it's Optimus Prime. So, mm. you know, Optimus is what top three eighties toy character of all like it would be like he man optimus and yeah. snake eyes maybe mm-hmm. but i mean just the most recognizable characters in pop culture sure so there's a bit of that baked into that like i don't know if they if they could sell enough of any small soldier's character to do it but gosh Woo. <laughs> Uh, Darth Aaron, eh, don't need a crazy military Tommy Lee Jones robot trying to take over my house. <laughs> and again, that, that's yeah. Don't do, don't do Chucky. Don't do Terminator. Uh, and probably don't do Commando Lee because we saw that turned out in Small Soldiers. <laughs> uh, <and laughs> Riley Bob, not that you're getting a robot and a semi truck. <laughs> Oh Lord, I'm not going to read it. It's probably- <laughs> <laughs> just the lines, uh, but I'm going to laugh at it. Sam Newton, uh, newsman. Uh, I, I did want to go. Where did <laughs> Gary's comment? I want. Oh, here we go, Gary. Uh, the, this Optimus is cool and all, but when do I get a small Johnny Five robot to follow me around? I would again use this tech for Johnny Five mm-hmm. short circuit. But again, I don't think there's enough you know short circuit fans out there to make a Johnny five. But since I was a kid and I saw short circuit and short circuit, I mainly short circuit too, because they had the little like mini Johnny. Yeah. Small five. Ones. yeah. yeah. And I, I remember seeing short circuit two, seeing little Johnny fives. So I was like, I, I, I want that. I need, I want that <laughs> toy. And it never made it. I would kill for a Johnny five. Oh, well, I wouldn't literally kill, but I would really <laughs> like a Johnny, a robot. And again, now that this Optimus Prime is out there, there can definitely mm-hmm. be a Johnny Five. Yep, that um, the Robo Sun company is going to start to get real busy. <laughs> good. <laughs> they should partner with like Sideshow. You know, that'd be a good a- avenue for, or Hot Toys. You know, good avenue for a, a Johnny Five. Yeah. Um. I want a conky robot. For, a conky? That's a great one. Input. Optimus needs input. <laughs> a lot of Johnny Five fans in the house. Uh, Unagi roll, to be fair, it doubles as an RC car, and those are pretty pricey without transforming into a robot and having voice commands. Yep. Uh, Wally looks like a mini Johnny Five. There's definitely some uh, uh, Harkins there. Harkins back to Johnny Five. Oh, but God, I would kill for a Johnny Five. Uh, short circuit two size Johnny Five would be go great next to your Turbo Man. I g- agree. You got Turbo Man right there behind Stay Puffed. I need <laughs> Johnny Five. Whoever, just make it happen. <laughs> Alpha from Power Rangers. I, I, I want. I want every pop culture robot. Sans a Terminator, a robot that's going to kill the human race. Made it using this technology. Mm-hmm. Just walking around your room. <laughs> I just go in my toy room and they all greet me. <laughs> and it's like a oh. harmony of robotic voices. Hey, Jay. <laughs> Hello, Jay. How are you today? So, uh, for for me, pre-ordering this for six nine nine, it's an investment, and in hopefully more. Mm-hmm. These toys coming out. So I'm guessing this this trumped the uh, Hot Toys Batman Superman two pack. It did because I still haven't pre ordered that. <laughs> only I can only do so many five hundred dollar plus <laughs> toys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um. Anyway, uh, you'll be like that toy maker in Blade Runner. Uh, yeah, it's like, was it home again, home again, jiggity jig or whatever? <laughs> I think that's what he said. Anyways. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So, yeah, this the Optimus stole the show. And I guess it comes in this this travel case. It looks like a styrofoam cooler. It, it did look a, like I saw. I was like, it, it, that's exactly what I thought. But 
uh, uh, Kevin Smith was like, no, it's a transporting case. I'm like, okay. It's a styrofoam. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, it's big. I guess 19 inches. Yep. Yeah. Cool it's, uh, as hell. Unbelievable. Wow. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> Look at this. It's so, cool. it's so neat. <laughs> Uh, T Ponder. Now we need Gizmo using this tech. I can't disagree with you, T Ponder. I can't disagree with you, uh, Diego Trejo. The Pandora's box is open. Uh, yeah. Yep. Again, it's it. There's so many. It's so many. That's what she said. It is 19 <laughs> inches. Uh, when did Toy <laughs> become a fifteen hundred dollars a month hobby? Uh, yeah, I don't know, but it did all of a since, sudden since we started buying toys for ourselves. Right, <laughs> <laughs> the toy company's got us. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, so that's the highlight. That's the high point of today's events. But let's keep moving on here. Uh, let's next go to Power Rangers, which, frankly, I was disappointed in the power. The, it, it, maybe out of all of them, I was probably most disappointed in Power Rangers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they didn't really do anything. Say for these lightning versions or metallic versions. And I guess they're translucent because there was like the pink ranger one that they made, right? Yeah. Well, they, they're, they're supposed to be metallic, but instead of putting like a vac metal or something mm-hmm. in like on the exterior, they do like a glitter in with the plastic. Mm-hmm. So like the metallic will never rub off. I guess. But, I mean, I haven't. I'm not a big fan of they just look like glittery Power Rangers, not metallic. Yeah. And uh, maybe there's fans out there for this, but I, yeah. I was kind of meh. I was yeah. meh all these. And again, I love MMPR. I love MMPR. Mm-hmm. But people's like, I, why do I want these? Like, do, do the movie ones that are kind of have that metal sheen, but you could change up the sculpt a little bit. Mm hmm. That would have been cool, but these I'm like, why do I want this? I do <laughs> who wants this? Just completists. That's it. it. I don't even know if completists want this. We need <laughs> <laughs> um we need we need to bring in a, a, a true Power Rangers fan. Um uh we should bring in um Paul to see Paul, what, yeah. yeah. What I don't know if he's into lightning collection. I don't know if he's getting getting into it. But, you know, three quarters of the time in this panel or, you know, whatever you want to call it, they just kept yeah. advertising power month, power month. And it's like, well, when is that? And it's like, well, it's not till August. That's when we'll show you the other stuff. Yeah, like, it was more of an advertisement for August. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> OK, I guess even all the in between Ghostbusters stuff real was cooler than this. I mean, this uh, Tyrannosaurus Century is kind of cool, but no way it looks that good in person. It's like a rendering. The helmets yeah. never look that good in person. Mm mm. I mean, okay. how could they? How could they not even show like a Megazord or a Morpher, like anything? Yeah. How do you not do a Morpher? How do you not do a Megazord? So, uh, uh, sorry, Hasbro, but Power Rangers, you're getting the. Hold on. <laughs> Worst of the show. You went. You went from the best of the show with Optimus Prime, and and he transforms the whole. Every reveal was great. To power, mm-hmm. like, what did? You, why? Why are you here? Yeah, why are you even. Here? I mean, it was a lot of talk about the show, you know, and the comics and the game, like the uh, P- Power Grid game, whatever it's called. It's like a mobile app. But this was called Pulse Fan Fest. Pulse is like where the toys are. Yeah, this should have just been about toys, really. <sighs> lame, so lame. Uh, Carrie says it's like the Power Rangers went to a catch. <laughs> <laughs> Woke up in the morning looking like P. Diddy. Uh, CAF Power Rangers was bad. I feel bad for the team that presented. I agree. CAF, it was just, it was lame. It was lame across the board. Uh, none of the room and Power Rangers figures were shown, and we got these instead. So I guess they're holding off the good stuff till August. But again, what are you waiting for? Mm-hmm. Like it, it, it seems like Hasbro 
isn't taking advantage of so much of what the Power Rangers license could offer. And now they're offshooting a lot of stuff to Super 7 and, and elsewhere. And it's just like, why did you why did you take this license from Bandai and you're not really pushing it to where and maybe maybe demand's not there. I just I don't know why you didn't have a Megazord reveal here. Mm-hmm. Like what are you waiting for? Yeah. Megazord I mean, there's, sell. there's so much they could do. There is there's what almost 30 years of a library yeah to, to go off of and you it's, have like literally like a million kaijus that you could <laughs> that you could like what are you right? waiting for right what are you waiting for they've done a few but like what are you waiting for <laughs> I, I i don't get it but whatever um uh yes they need the movie ones i think they're trying to jump on star wars carbonize so you have glittery power rangers i eh? <laughs> i don't know maybe they just like draw put bad ideas in a hat and whatever <laughs> one they pull out i don't know but you know and uh luis uh, morero says i might switch to super seven for mmpr stuff because lightning collection has been sucking for a while now it's insane we still don't have a mix how do you not have a megazord right the, what? The make it's it's the core of the show it's the core which really why kids watch it sure absolutely it's why i watched it as a kid mm-hmm. i remember watching the commercial and uh I was like, oh, my God, a live action Voltron. What? <laughs> and I was like, I need to watch this show because I loved Voltron as a kid. Mm-hmm. And that's literally, again, there's no Internet or anything like that. So I have no earthly understanding of what Power Rangers is. But I watched Voltron, the cartoon. And I was like, oh, my God, it's like a live action Voltron. Is this a continuation of the story? I had no idea. And you know, watching, I was like, OK, this isn't Voltron. But so I was like, this is amazing. Mm-hmm. It's kind of it's essentially Voltron, you know, combining yeah. robots it, and it, then they it, fight. It is. And again, I remember I vividly remember seeing the commercial before the show premiered and I was just like, oh my God, it's a live action Voltron. It's so <laughs> cool. I'm in. I want to watch <laughs> the show. Um, Yeah. Lame. Uh, Adam Steinberg, only two monsters in the lightning collection. Yeah, it's just the, the pumpkin and the sphinx, right? Is that it? Um. Well, Goldar... Kind of, but the Tango Warrior is coming out. But still, it's nothing but missed opportunities. Yeah, you know, make make twelve inch monsters to fight uh, the Megazords. I've been saying that forever. For? I've been what saying that forever. Waiting for it would sell. They would sell. Get to it. All right, GI Joe. Some cool role play toys, which is fine. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, this was mainly just for Snake Eyes, which is what they said. Uh, but what what did you think here of uh, the reveals um, for the for the Snake Eyes? These mm-hmm. figures, I think, are pretty good. Mm-hmm. As long as you know the price point is ten dollars ish. Yeah. Um. I think they're really good because it's six inch figure. It can still fit in with classified. Um, Are they that, six, in, in his hands, they don't look six inch. Are they six inch? That's what they're claiming. Four and a half. No, they're, they're claiming they six great. inch figures. Okay. All right. But you know, it's a kid's line. This, this yeah. one is a kid's line, but that night creeper looks so cool. But yes, the night creeper look great. Um, these looked good. I I didn't think they were six inches. I thought they were maybe four and a half, five. But yeah. I, in his in his hand, they don't look like it. But even he said it, that they're six. In the um, the weapons will be compatible with classified. N- really? Okay. All right. Um. But yes, I I agree. Like, just the maroon looks great. The the weapons. So I th- is there a line to compare them to that that Hasbro makes right now? Did they did they say? Um, they're they're well, they didn't really say it, but there's that like six inch, uh, Marvel, MCU oh, series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yep. and those are compatible with Marvel Legends. Mm-hmm. 
so I assume, you know, that's kind of the same boat that they're fitting in. I think these will do good as long as they're around 10 bucks. Cause I don't, parents won't spend more than $10 on a, on a kid toy like that. Yeah, no way. They'll spend more than that. At least in that size. Um, all right. Uh, Scarlet looks pretty good. And again, for the paint apps, they shouldn't be more than 10 bucks. No. When you can pay 10 bucks more and have a Scarlet looks amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, you know, once the Snake Eyes movie is over, will this line keep going? You know? No, no way. This is a one and done. Unless the movie does really well. Right? I mean, that's the only case. Yeah. Maybe. Dep I guess it depends how much Hasbro wants to push, you know, an IP that they actually own. Don't have to pay rights to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> do that. Uh, <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, and you got this... Uh, I, I'm trying to say that's the same bike as the... I guess it is a different sculpt, but if it is a six-inch scale, you can... <laughs> that's oh. kind of lame. Yeah. <laughs> But I guess kids might like that. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> old school. I agree with old school here. The motorcycle does not doesn't look so hot. I agree. It kind of looks just like a hunk of white plastic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like disco storm shadow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So I guess, oh, I guess you get a snake eyes and they can do little twirly kicks at each other. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and then you have this 12, I guess, 12 inch with the light up sword. Again, eh, not really feeling that so much. Um, All right. So then we got the classified. Now... <sighs> I, I get they all look good, I guess, if you're comparing them to the movie, but I was kind of disappointed that we didn't get, uh, you know, like they had movie ones and then they had maybe like comic book or other media style classified figures. Maybe they eventually will, but I was, we still have not gotten a classic style Storm Shadow yet. And I was, we were all really hoping for one in this Snake Eyes wave, but we're getting a more movie styled one. Yeah. What, what are your thoughts there? Um, you know, I'm in the same, you know, boat where I, I don't have the, the Arctic mission storm shadow in my classified mm -hmm. collection. Cause that's not my, yeah. that's not storm shadow to me. Sure, absolutely. Same for I me. want, yeah, I want that basic original mm -hmm. storm shadow look. Yeah. This one, I mean, he explained it like he is just all white. He's like a bone white, but they did different mm -hmm. texturing to kind of break it up. It's not just like sure smooth yeah but it's just a boring looking figure it really is it i really mean it, is. It, it it looks like it's a test shot that's mm -hmm. unpainted mm -hmm. yeah it, it it is a disappointment i, mm -hmm. I think personally i uh, mean i'm also surprised we're seeing all these characters without a trailer first because this is it's kind of opposite of what always happens, right? We see a trailer <laughs> because then we'll know what the, the characters are supposed to look like. And now they just kind of, you know, put the cart in front of the horse. And now we know what everybody looks like and don't know any of what's going on. You know, they're naming names of these characters. We have no idea who they are. So my question to you is, do we care about this look more once we see the movie? I don't think so. I, I feel similar. <laughs> Um, and then, yeah, uh, the Baroness, I kind of, again, the Baroness, uh, uh, classified figure is incredible. Mm -hmm. One of the best figures of 2020. This one, and again, it's, it's looking at like the movie, but it's just, it pales in comparison. Just by looking at it, like just, I'm not digging the look personally, but no. maybe somebody else is here. I think they should have just, you know, we don't know the, the what's going on in the movie, you know, character wise. 
Yeah. Baroness should have long hair. Yeah. I do kind of like it, but that's not Baroness. That could be any other character. They could have named it anything. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, so again, I, I don't want to be like the fanboys like, well, Baroness has to look like this. Mm -hmm. I, but it just, again, it's just like, I, I just, there's no connection to it. You know, there's just yeah. like, eh. but again, it, it, to your point, there's no trailer. There's no media that's making us connected to any of this. Mm -hmm. And that could be it. But it also could be like, I already, I already have, I already have the classified bar Baroness fortunate enough to have one. So, and that one to me is light years better than this. Mm hmm. But yeah. again, the movie changes my perception of this look of the character. It's a, it's a cobra <laughs> stew. <laughs> <laughs> but I think no matter, like no matter how much I'm say I do like the movie, mm -hmm. I won't buy that Baroness because I have the one I like already. That's it. Yeah, exactly. Like that's my Baroness. I don't need another mm -hmm. Baroness. Um, which again, I realize I'm fortunate. We're both fortunate enough to have because it is a hard figure to find. But this, it's, again, just looking at that, I'm just like, that doesn't, that doesn't look appealing to me at all. Nope. You know, it's to each his own there. Uh, old school Shinobi, these figures look like somewhere between Lanard, the core, and Jazzwares. Can't disagree with you. Sam Newsman, they are all just dull <laughs> AF. <laughs> like if the core was going to do a classified style <laughs> series. <laughs> But hell, Lenard, like Lenard's doing amazing stuff with the aliens. And, yeah, with uh, aliens, and predators. Yeah, predators are amazing. Uh, Bernie Davis, just give me Sergeant Slaughter, and I'll be good. Hey, listen, the uh, we'll talk about it whenever we do our normal tour geeks again, probably mm -hmm. next day. But hell, the Masters of the WWE versus is getting a pretty dope. Sergeant Slaughter. Uh, you can you can get a classified style Sergeant Slaughter with um, uh, what is it? The Valiverse figures. Mm hmm. Uh, Gary L, the uh, class, this class classified storm shadow sure has a Robert Pattinson looking face. Hey, listen, I would I was criticizing our Pats for a long time, but our Pats turn out to be a pretty damn good actor, and I'm excited for his take on Batman. That's all. That's all. I'll say. Our Pats, I'm on your side. Uh, <laughs> not that Gary isn't. Uh, Todd Smith movie is moved up to July. Hell yeah. I know I'm half vaxxed right now. I'm only one more vaccine shot away, and I, then I'll be invincible. I can go see any movie I want, anytime. <laughs> anytime. Uh, did you see the Diamond Select Cobra Kai figures? I did. I did. Mm -hmm. Diamond Select, man. What's up with those faces? They're always the faces are always soft on Diamond Select. Mm -hmm. Never nail the face head sculpt. So, uh, I want that Baroness. This is old school Shinobi. I want that Baroness because I'm cool and I want to be different. So there. <laughs> hey, listen, old school. You do you. You yeah. do you, and I will back you up, my friend. I will back you up. Uh, there you go, Natalie and Bruglia, <laughs> 1998. As <laughs> it is very uh, late 90s, early aughts. Uh, Natalie and Bruglia. Uh, she looks torn. She. <laughs> Well done, sir. I was I was getting to the torn joke, and you beat me nicely done, <laughs> nicely done. Um, uh, Gary, I'm more of a case two kind of gal. J, hey, listen, case two too. You know, for being in a pretty crappy series of movies based on a pretty crappy series of books, both uh, Kristen Stewart and R. Pats are pretty fine actors uh, today. So they they have made it beyond uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> and his last year looks torn. <laughs> oh man! Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, let's let's move along here. Uh, the Scarlet again. It's really tough, and I guess this has like the pr production number on the face. Mm -hmm. It's really hard when I think the classified version, the normal regular classified release versions of these characters, look so much better. Than these movie style ones. Yeah. Like she looks good. Sure. But the classified. The normal classified Scarlet. Scarlet is miles better than this. To me. Yeah this uh, is. What, what do you think? This is like. um, I mean. They're supposed to be photorealistic sculpts. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'll think of like. 
the you know any photorealistic like Marvel Legends MCU character, mm-hmm. and they they look similar to the actor. Sure, these don't look like they're uh, photorealistic sculpts off of an actor. It looks mm-hmm. just like it's photorealistic off of a drawing, <laughs> <laughs> like a cartoon. You know, that's all they have. Who is playing Scarlet? I have no idea. I I don't know. I'm a bad fan. But I guess, you know, it's fine. It's fine. But again, the classified, normal classified is so much better. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Vector Kush 1985 says it's really cool. I, again, if this, if I, I guess I'm less of a movie style figure generally than a just kind of whatever the standard releases or I don't know, like a more non to it. Like if I'm doing movie style, I'll probably go Hot Toys or something like that. So it like mm-hmm. it looks like it looks like somebody miniaturized Chris Evans, and I've got Chris Evans on my shelf. Uh, <laughs> and he's gonna wake up with a phone app. Yeah. He's gonna start moving around. Oh, with the with the Rob Rob Robosin technology, <laughs> like Robosin matched with Hot Toys. I I won't know what's real anymore. I it's won't. Over. <laughs> Uh, Jamal's toys. I'll get that Baroness because she'll look. She'll look like a hot Velma from Scooby Doo. <laughs> hey, it is a it is a hot Velma. I'll give you that Jamal's toys. I'll give you that. Uh, Jack, I do think Scarlet is the best of the bunch of these movie figures. It looks like a good Scarlet. Don't get me wrong, but I think the normal, the previous Scarlet looks better. I think it looks mm-hmm. significantly better. Yeah, if we hadn't had the classified Scarlet first, you're right. This one would be good. Yeah, I agree. Agree. If no, I'm you, not saying it's bad. Yeah, but we, we have we have a comparison now. Mm-hmm. So, yep. Uh, you know. uh, uh, where is it? Uh, well, school. Uh, Scarlet could be Daphne. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> For the customizers out there, you're you're halfway there to a full uh, <laughs> a Scooby-Doo set. Uh, Gary L. I looked at Caster Snake Eyes. Besides Henry Golding, it's mostly unknowns. Well, to me anyway. So there you go. Old school hashtag hot Velma. Hot Velma. Hot Velma. Um, You know what? When I when they showed her this figure and then, you know, the name, the actress's name, completely unknown character across the board. Yeah. The first thing I thought of was this figure will suffer the Rose Tico problem. Ooh, it will be, you know, we're, it's, it, uh, a we're, we're going to think it's a, it's, it's an important it's part. Trying to pull all my GI Joe knowledge. Is this a, tr- is this a new character for the movie? This is, this is completely new. This is a one-off never been in any of media comics, nothing. Yeah. It's so I, I think, I hope that's not the case, but it's, but it's also not a very compelling toy. It's kind of boring. No, it is. It's, like, again, w- what's going on with this figure? If they, they want us to buy it, but what what is she? You know, who is she? <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, maybe she's an amazing kick-ass character in the movie and we're going to want her. Who knows? So, so she'll be a shelf warmer from now till July. <laughs> and then, then you won't be able to find her. She'll be like $100. Uh, <laughs> a lot of peg warmer calls here. Uh, uh, also says I may actually get some of these because I enjoy getting blank slate character figures to customize my own universe, but I'm a goofball again. Like, good coast customize opportunities. Mm-hmm. Uh, Roberto Colon is like Rose from Star Wars. Do I need her in my collection? I, I, and again, I'm a Last Jedi fan, and I, I you know, I, and I know it might be a little, but I, I really dug Rose's character in Last Jedi. Oh, I, I dug the character. I'm just talking about the toy. The toy, like, the toy, definitely. They, they just like Not Constable like Zuvio. It was like they that, throw it out there. That didn't, that didn't make the cut and just sat on the worst of the, the peg warmers of the modern Star Wars era. The, what was that guy's name? Con- Constable Zuvio. Constable Zuvio. They didn't even make it in the movie. Mm-hmm. But, same idea. They'll they'll throw this character at us in a toy form to like this. You know, you got to get get to know them, but then you you really don't. <laughs> well, Riley Bob thinks that somehow she will end up needing to be army built. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, Henry Golding is in the house, and it's better than a p- portrait mode 
phone video here. So they've stepped up production value. Uh, and he got to unveil his uh, figure. But can I just say, with their photorealistic head sculpts, it doesn't look anything like him. No. <laughs> he sure is excited, though. Because well, he's an actor. <laughs> <laughs> Um. So it, I just said I, they did not have the same head sculpt crew on this, and even the uh, normal class of five figures, those head sculpts are amazing. They're not mm -hmm. based off real people, but they're amazing. And then Marvel and but and, and Henry Golding's a handsome dude. That doesn't look anything like Henry Golding. That looks like circa twenty. 11 Hasbro six inch figure. <laughs> I mean, maybe the sculpt is there and the, the paint isn't, you know, that's, that's happened a million times. Sure. It's, I don't know. Maybe we got to see the movie. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And maybe it's just a prototype, but I, to me, their face scan technology has been much better. And, and maybe he'll <laughs> he mention his hair is a little bit different in the movie, I guess, but. When he holds it far away like that, it, it looks like did they just, you know, retool a Poe Dameron head or something? Take the beard off of it? Oh, my God. Remember again, like remember the Poe Dameron, like the first Poe Dameron? Yeah, it was terrible. Garbage. Garbage. Um, and they've come so far. The Hasbro head sculpts or face real photorealistic face technology mm -hmm. is a game changer for a $20 figure. It's still the best on the market. And these don't seem like they have that level. Like again, this movie has been in production for so long. Maybe they this is the they made this sculpt three years ago. Yeah, that's true. And they're just now putting it out because all of these to me seem lesser than the classified series. But if you dig it, I mean, with the mask looks pretty cool. But again, ah, not feeling it. Not feeling it. excited for the movie though. But yeah, yeah, I'm surprised yeah. there is no trailer. I, there's no trailer. What do you? They, yeah, they they really should have shown the trailer today. Coming out in July, you can drop a trailer. Mm -hmm. Asper's yeah. property. Today would have been the the prime prime time to to show the trailer. Yeah, agreed, agreed. So overall, it wasn't Power Rangers bad, but I was kind of eh. Mm. And after seeing all those. I think I like that that kids line more than what they showed for the Snake Eyes classified series. Mm -hmm. I like that kids line more than this this stuff. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree. Uh, she should have been a Target exclusive, and everyone would have wanted. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Target exclusive. That's a good call out, Bullwinkle. Um, <laughs> old school somebody. Yay! My figure looks nothing like me. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> you sculpted my stunt double. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't uh, know I said this, but those boxes look very large. Or is it just me? They do look a little bit big. A little big. Um, let's see. Man, I'm going to have to open it just to put the snake eyes hood on the figure and I'll put it back inside the box. <laughs> um, <laughs> Adam Smedberg whelmed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jason Clark, Snake Eyes is GI Joe's Wolverine. Every series has one. Agree again. I love Snake Eyes. It's just a, it's a timeless character design, and it always works. Um, but I just think that head sculpt didn't look like Henry Golding, and he's a pretty he's a well known actor. Um, Gary, this is Hen this Henry Golding head also kind of looks like our pets. Maybe I'm just seeing what I want. <laughs> yeah, Gary, I feel like you need to work out some stuff now with uh, with this our pets obsession. Uh, and uh, I just want you to know, Gary, I'm here for you, no matter how that goes. Yeah. Maybe he's got Twilight on in the background. Yeah, yeah maybe. maybe. Uh, <laughs> no shame, no judgment, no judgment. Nope. Nope. Um, see, the twirling bike kicks are better than the classified one. <laughs> uh, Snake Eyes is Ezra Miller. It could be. It could be anybody. It's just one of those head sculpts. It could be anyone. Uh, what's uh, what's the over under on the whelm here? <laughs> <laughs> I I'm I'm whelmed. I'm whelmed. Whelmed on that one. Yeah. Underwhelmed on Power Rangers. Whelmed on. Uh, whelmed on the Joe. Well, whelmed on Joes. All right. Let's uh, let's close it out here with the last two things. It is Marvel and Star Wars. 
And uh, we got some Sentinel stuff in hand. Having, I was kind of hoping for more, honestly, a little bit more Sentinel stuff, right? Yeah, I mean, we got to see that they had them. Yeah, they're having the <laughs> background and stuff, but. Did they do that at the thing yesterday? Did I miss that? Maybe I don't know. No, as, as far as I know, they only did the um, the cannonball domino reveal, and they chatted with one of the guys from Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> so it looked great. I'm pumped. I I backed the Sentinel, so I'm excited for it. So, I mean these these guys had them like in hand. They they took them out of a out of their packaging. So they're they're ready somewhere, you know. <laughs> they got them somewhere, and I want them. I want them. <laughs> um, uh, so more retro stuff. Again, I have not. The only one I've seen in person is the Electro. All these have sold out. So I, whenever I get a character that I do want, I will pick up some of these retro figs and and I'll review them on the channel. But uh, I'm not pre-ordering these exclusive sets. I'll tell you that much. Or I don't know. I haven't seen any of these, but. My argument remains the same. Make it yep. for power scale. You're gonna put you're gonna slap Kenner on that box and it's a superhero. Make <laughs> a super power scale. <laughs> Said it before, I'll say it again. I'm out of breath. <laughs> uh we got another legends line. Uh thoughts here on the legends reveals. This this was kind of cool. This Iron Man. Yeah, that's really the only one I was kind of psyched about. I think that's really cool. This is they've been trotting out this Tony Stark head sculpt for like thirty five years. Yes, at least. <laughs> like, is this the same Iron Man body too? Since way back, right? Wasn't it the Toys R Us like two pack the the Black Widow? Iron Man two pack from like twenty oh nine maybe I, it could be I thought that they said this might be a new sculpt new body sculpt because there was one they did a body like this from the um, the Iron it was the Iron Man Legend series but it was just like an Iron Man package on a, it was mm -hmm. a card yeah I think it was it the Iron Monger build a figure. <laughs> Jason Clark, is that the snake eyes head? <laughs> oh, there's Henry. <laughs> there's Henry. I see it now. I see it. <laughs> I think this is just a repaint over and over yeah. again. Uh, yeah. Um, so uh, uh, cool. Or or was this the 50th anniversary one? I can't remember. Oh, you're right. It's pro if they were going to I think the yeah, I think it's the 50th anniversary body. Yeah. And it's probably the 50th anniversary head because but it doesn't it looks more like that old one that was like again from 10 years ago. Yeah. Um is this Iron Heart, right? Yeah, that's Iron Heart. So that's cool. Is this the first time we're getting Iron Heart? I think so. I assume I she'll be ever... in the MCU eventually. <clears throat> that's cool. That's awesome. I'm down. Mm -hmm. He looks great. Head scope looks great. Yep. So that's awesome. And it's uh, funny, like you know, the females' head sculpts are getting better and better mm -hmm. than than males, and it's always been the opposite. Right, yeah, like uh, for a long time, the female head sculpts were trash, but she looks great. That's fantastic. And again, this looks like a modern figure, and that and the Tony Stark looked like something from. <laughs> it looks like a toy biz. It does. It really does. <laughs> so I dig the Iron Heart. If I find the Iron Heart, I'll definitely pick that up because. That is that's still the current Iron Man right now, right? Is Iron Heart? Is that still I think so? So that's awesome. Um what's her name again? I forget. Um Dark Star. Dark Star. <laughs> yeah, okay. That guy's cool. He's just cool looking. I'm not really familiar mm -hmm. with the I can't remember what they called him. I know he's Ursa Major. Mm -hmm. But I'm believe, not. I believe his official name is Bear Dude. I'm pretty sure it's Bear Dude. Hmm. I, um, I no, I'm full of crap. I, I'm. Just, <laughs> it's a cool figure. <laughs> it is. It's cool. But it's cool. <laughs> it could. It could belong in any line. I, I'm not familiar with it. 
Oh, uh, Dartha, it is. It is man bear pig. It is oh, man bear pig. You're that that makes sense. Uh, no, Ursa Major is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love this scare because a lot of people are saying Clark Gable that that Tony Stark was like Clark Gable. Uh, frankly, my Hajra, I don't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Demon Bear. I I like Man Bear Pig. Man bear big for the win. Uh, but yes, bear dude. That's that's my pick here. All right. Uh, <laughs> moving on. Uh, let's see. Is that Iron Man 2000 or whatever? Um, no, no. I thought Iron Man 2000 was like that Walgreens exclusive that's out now. That's right. that's modular armor, I think. Okay. Yep, modular armor. <laughs> there you go. All right, cool. Again, it's okay. So then we've got the Lebowski Thor, which looks cool. But again, it's kind of a bummer. God, it's been two years. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe not two years. I don't know. A year, two years. I, I can't. I've lost all track of time in 2020 and 2021. But looks great, though. The packaging looks really good. Yeah, it's dope. Are they going to do it for all the all? Is that like a new? Did they say that? Or is it going to be like a new? I don't know. I think they had this figure planned for so long. Yeah. Um, it was like secrecy between, you know, Marvel studios and Hasbro mm -hmm. where like, they didn't know what he was going to look like and the armor and everything. So he said, this figure has been planned for a long time. Mm -hmm. So maybe it was like, this is just, Hey, we'll just put it in a cool package to help it sell since the movie's been out for so long. <clears throat> yep. But deep on it, did you get the new bongos? I received mine a few days ago. No, and I pre ordered from Walmart, but <laughs> there's my answer. Right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you see Chromag? Chromag is selling those too. I know. Maybe I should have gotten a Chromag. They got some cool stuff. They got a big, a lot of stuff in yesterday, and I might go tomorrow and see what they got. Um, Stormbreaker. But they show that. Didn't they show Stormbreaker last time? Yeah, that's been out. Yeah, so that's nothing new. Uh, there we go. <laughs> the, when they first showed that, I thought it was a hookah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of cool though. It's got the little effects and stuff. Yeah, only fifty bucks too. That's not bad. Not bad. I guess I I thought it had an animation there. So, oh, and the little stone comes out. The time. Right time there. stone. That is really cool. The eye of Agama Agamoto. So that's cool. I'm down for that. Again, that's a pretty cool prop. If you're if you're cosplaying as as uh uh Doctor Strange, that's a cool prop. All right. So there's the is this the packaging? Yep. So again, like if you're gonna play with it, you're like come on, let's I wanna see more of the sentinel. <laughs> they just want to show you that they have them. Yeah, they're just showing like me what I don't have. Come on, Hasbro. look at the size of the head and he's holding it. I know it's like a ba it's bigger than a baseball. I, I know he could throw a sinker with that thing. It's unbelievable. Like screw you guys. <laughs> uh, Fantastic Four, Haslab, Galactus, right? Yeah, it's got to be. There's no way it's not Galactus. No, I don't think they would Haslab a Fantastic Car. That wouldn't. That wouldn't sell. Oh man, you know, like how do you how do you make a Haslab for Fantastic Four? And it would have to be Galactus, mm -hmm. but it would be so Hasbro and Haslab to do the the uh, <laughs> the Fantastic Car, yeah, <laughs> and like get everybody's hopes up. Like finally, a Galactus. That's it's not you know it's it's going to be big. But it's not. Oh, man. But be Galactus so big that you know your your six inch scale Silver Surfer like scales really well with it. Oh, right. that would be amazing. <laughs> like if it's what five feet tall. <laughs> sure. And put I that mean, the, put that Robeson technology in it. <laughs> <laughs> you could have it go walk your dog for you. <laughs> oh man i i yeah we'll see it's i i wonder uh i wonder if they'll uh i don't know we'll see i, I wonder if they will i believe uh was it kevin feige looks 
It makes me excited to see what Feige does with X Men and the MCU. Yeah, I kind of I was uh, I was wondering if they would hold off till whenever they finally announce Fantastic Four for the MCU, but that isn't the case right now. So we shall see. Um, but pretty quick for Marvel, not too much. Oh. There. But, um, be- before we go on, uh, if you just want to um, pause, because when they showed the fans there, you know how they did like a discussion with the fans. I don't know how they picked them. Sure. Um, in the GI Joe panel, uh huh. Um, I'm 99 percent sure that Carson Metaxas was in the GI Joe room, like of the fans from 3D really? Joes. Yep. Yeah. From I mean, um, of course, of course. you know Carson, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is Shardimus Prime right here, right? Is that him or no? Did I mistake him? I'm not sure. I'm not sure who he is. Because it's so it it showed their real names, I think. Oh, really? Okay, maybe not. I don't, maybe it was. It kind of. Maybe I'm glancing. I don't think he changed his name to Shardimus. <laughs> well, let's, let's <laughs> legally. Start. I want to go back. I have the GI Joe here. We can we can go back to the tape. See if it's our friend Carson. So I w- I wonder how they selected you know the who's who here. Let's see. Let's scroll ahead. Super scrubbing, 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 scrubbing. And then they show the fans at the end. Henry Golding. Okay. Okay. Top middle of the small screens. Right there? Yeah. All right. Hold on. This, uh, I'm trying to. Put... Right with the, the hat. Is that Carson? Really? Yeah, with the hat. Um, he's like all in black. And I think the bottom middle, although the screens are blacked out on both sides. Uh huh. Um, I think the bottom guy is um, Scott Zillner. Um, He's a guy out in California. Okay. I think that's him. Right, well, there you go. But yeah, Famous. I'm pretty sure that's Carson. Famous friends. Uh, yeah, that's Shardimus. Okay, cool. I thought I was like, I thought that was Shardimus Prime. Um, you know, I'm surprised because uh, I think Pixel Day and a lot of the like, you know, the big YouTubers. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't have more. Or how they organize it. I don't know. Maybe it's just weird. Yeah. <laughs> Random. All right, uh, let's see. Let just go back to Marvel Star Wars. All right, let's go to Star Wars, uh, which, again, that's too crazy for Star Wars. Ugh. Like, this, they already teased us to high heaven on this one. Yeah. It's, like, cool, but not that cool. Galactic Snack and Grogu. I'm like, okay. And the, the weird jaw thing just makes it look weird. Not feeling it. No, it's like an uh, old marionette mouth. Yeah. It's kind of creepy. Or like a dummy kind of. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> um, the Hoth Luke is cool. Again, for vintage collections fans, I think that's great. Uh, let's see. This is Endor Han. Which again, this head sculpt does not look as good as some of the other vintage collection. No, sculpts. and if I remember right, that when that first came out back in like 2011, 2012, that was a peg warmer, mm-hmm. and I think it's still kind of cheap to get. Yeah, that one doesn't look great. Uh, Akbar was vintage collection, almost exactly the same as the vintage collection one that came out. In 2010, 2011, I still have mine. Mm-hmm. It's a great figure, but it's a re-release. Uh, let's see here. Um, we have the Imperial Guard, and then we have uh, this. I guess he has a head sculpt under there and stuff. Or is that? Yeah, he he did before as well. Did he? Okay. Yeah, because they did this one in the vintage collection, and then they re-released that one in the Black Series three and three quarter inch so this is this is a surprise that they're doing this one a third time it's an army builder so i guess there's some uh battle droid cool heavy battle droid uh shadow stormtrooper kind of cool force unleashed i love bikes i love the scout trooper design Mm -hmm. But That's my favorite. Yeah, same. Trooper. Yeah, yeah Scout Trooper is the coolest. Uh, so again, some gaming greats there. Electro Staff Purge Trooper. 
So Jedi Fallen Order. So I guess that's kind of cool. And then uh, some cool black series. Um, you know, for me, uh, the general Lando Calrissian looked mm-hmm. awesome. I, I thought this one looks great. And I love they're so enamored with his cape. <laughs> It doesn't actually, it doesn't look that great to be honest. No, no. <laughs> it looks like they just, it's a bad, like, you know, it's like they just cut fabric odd, you yeah. know, and just kind of stuck it on there. It's not as bad as the Masterverse uh, Skeletor. It's close. It's close. <laughs> I mean, it, it's still a good looking figure. I'd take the, maybe take the cape off. Mm-hmm. Or maybe a customizer can make that look better. Yeah. Uh, and I'm blanking on her name. Uh, Aura Singh. Thank you. Uh, great character. If you're a fan of Clone Wars, she's great mm-hmm. in that. She's been around for a while. Uh, so great that we're getting her in Black Series. That's when I'll probably pick up. Mm-hmm. I always like that character. Yeah. And I, and you still haven't watched Clone Wars. She's in Clone Wars. She's awesome in Clone Wars. Oh, she is? Mm-hmm. I didn't know she was in that. Yeah, she's... Uh, most of the the uh, bounty hunters are in that um, at some point in time. Uh, some more Bad Batch characters. I think that was one of my uh, predictions. We'll get more Bad Batch, which is a, yep. pretty, a pretty safe pick here. But I was, surp- I was surprised we didn't get more Bad Batch, to be honest. The show starts in a month, I think. <laughs> Have they shown everybody else already? Um, I don't think they've done Echo and maybe one or two. Of, I, I'm trying to remember now. Top of my head. Uh, let's see. Uh, what's his name for Mandalorian? I'm blanking on his name. Is it zero? Zero. Yep. That sounds right. And then we're complete. Well, no, we're still missing. What's his name from? There was that guy at the beginning. Uh, whatever his name was. Mm-hmm. Any. Uh, so again, cool on the Star Wars front, I guess. Yeah, but you know, it was, you know, the like they said, these were pipeline reveals. We already knew they were coming. It wasn't. Yeah. Tosca is her name. Um, and then the one prop, I, I we were kind of having some high expectations for props, and mm. I love Wedge. Don't get me wrong, I love Wedge. Wedge and Tilly's. The only other TIE fighter pilot that survived all the movies. X-Wing. Okay, fair. X-Wing pilot survived <laughs> all the movies. <laughs> so cool. I, I'm glad Wedge is getting his day. He's getting a helmet. You can buy it. That's great. Um, If I remember, there's a Wedge helmet if you get it at Disneyland, but it was way more expensive than the normal mm-hmm. Hyper releases. So kudos for the Wedge fans. But I was hoping for more on the prop front, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got the Rogue One Blue Squadron uh, X-Wing Fighter. Rogue One, I believe, is your favorite Star Wars movie, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, past the original trilogy. Of course, of course. But I do rate it higher than Jedi. Okay. Um, so, I'm, ex- I'm excited for Rogue One product because they're you know, dishing more out for the fifth anniversary. Mm-hmm. So I probably won't get this. Okay. But I'm just happy that there's more coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. I think it's pretty dope. I, I really dug that aspect of the movie. I was like, oh, hey, there's a whole new squad. <laughs> uh, I think Adam Silver calls it out well here. May the 4th, hopefully more reveals. Agreed. Agreed mm-hmm. there, Adam. Uh, not a Reven, a Reven helmet, sadly. Agreed. Blue Leader X-Wing is a target exclusive, so good luck with that one. Oof. True. That's that stinks, but still, it's kind of cool. If I see one in person in the wild, I may pick that up. I think it's pretty dope. Um, all right, the figure looks pretty good too. It's it's the thing I'd probably get suckered into buying at a show if I seen yeah. it at a show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, all right, from the vault, we can... Razor Crest, completely useless, three hundred fifty dollars ship. <laughs> uh, so uh then you got the star wars fans anybody know that? <laughs> nope 
<laughs> didn't didn't recognize anybody. You know what? I just I would it would have been nice to be one of the people going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they only pulled the audio from one person. <laughs> and let's be honest, I'm not one you'd pull the audio for. I'm just some dude. So I'll just be like. <laughs> <laughs> I just like not paying attention, like, <laughs> playing on your phone. <laughs> all right. All right. So it's at the end of the program. We reviewed it all. So, John, uh, money is unlimited. I've given you. Unlimited funds. What's, but you can only buy one thing. One thing from okay. today's events. Hmm. What do you spend that money on? I want to see in the chat too. You can only pick one thing from all of this. You can, and that's it. It's all you can ever have from today's reveals. Okay. I you can only have one thing ever. It, money is no object. Most in the chat, let me know. But most, John, I would most, I'm sure, would say the Optimus, of course. But, but you're going to be a contrarian, okay? Yes, it's also the kind of thing that I would buy personally mm -hmm. and then just get sick of messing around with it. It would sit on a shelf either in robot mode or uh -huh. truck mode, yep, forever. Yep. <clears throat> so, I think just the one thing I'd get is the uh, the deluxe class Scorponok. Because I think that's the coolest thing that I would just enjoy over and over and over. Not even going Ark, you're going Scorpina. Yeah. Plus, I mean, I could just go over to your house and play with Optimus. So. <laughs> <laughs> so you're using me. You're using me in my pick. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Whatever. Um, <laughs> no, Scorpinock. Scorpinock's a great pick. Looks fantastic. Great sculpt. Much more reasonably priced than. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and money's no object, but I look at it as what would I just like enjoy messing around with the most? Yeah, the, the Optimus would be a one and done. Eh, the you know the novelty wears off quick. You're right. I now I'm starting to worry. Like, is this going to be the BB-8 uh, Orby Orbo thing? Because like oh, I got the that. yeah the Sphero. Sphero, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got it. I've never even charged it. <laughs> I loved it was I played with it a lot when it first came out or I got mm -hmm. it, one of my Christmas presents. But and you know, I, I am worried now it's like uh it's the uh arrested development Michael have made a terrible mistake. But no. <laughs> if if I again I would pick the Optimus Prime because it's so cool, it's a game changer, it's a revolutionary toy of all the toys in the world that have ever been made, no one toy's ever been this cool. So it's got to be, it's got to be Optimus for me. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to the chat. Let's see what they all said. Uh, <laughs> uh, classic X Rears, $700 Optimus Prime, Bullwinkle Prime, Ghost Tav Prime, Tony, I live for that Thor. Can't blame you. It's a, it's a dope Thor. I love the memes like, finally, I can tell my wife I have a superhero body. <laughs> um, Bernie Davis, Optimus Prime, Dartherian Prime, T Ponder Prime, uh, Jason Clark, probably the Ark, another great reveal. Uh, Ghost Tab Wedge's ugly helmet. <laughs> You've already gone, Ghost Tab. Uh, Todd Smith, $700 Optimus. And I'm not even that big of a Transformers guy. I feel you, Todd. I feel you. Uh, score that Thor. Ooh, I like the, the rhyming there. Uh, Adam Smedberg, General Lando. Uh, old school Shinobi. I missed the beginning, but probably Optimus. Ghost have I have Agamotto, so I tell people it's not a hookah. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Clark, Transformers easily won today, right? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Transformers yep. was a step beyond everybody else. It was the only overwhelmed of the mm -hmm. of for sure. This could have been just a Transformers fan Friday. That's it. It could have. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, old school Shinobi, Comet of the Night, Baroness Gimbruglia. <laughs> 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 uh, Brad Brooks, I can't believe they haven't made a Dark Trooper. No Dark Trooper. Come on. It was in this season. How do you not? You could sell a bajillion of those things. 
<laughs> totally agree, Brad Brooks. <laughs> a decent head scroll, Henry Golding. Uh, realis- realistically, it's the arc, though. I, Darth Vader, I think it's fair. But again, it, money is no object. Money is no object. Gary Ironheart. Love the pick, Gary. I, I think that's the best of the Marvel uh, Legends figures shown tonight. Uh, a check for the refund of the seven hundred dollar Optimus. <laughs> Jamal Ghost Tab wants it all. <laughs> he wants it all. Uh, Jamal Soy's Arc, Jack Knight Prime, uh, Tony A. Mitz also love the Snake Eyes figures. So I, it's across the board. I'm calling it Prime wins. Prime wins the whole thing. So congrats, Optimus Prime. <laughs> You're the winner. You're the winner. All right, and who are we dubbing? Who are we dubbing the loser of, of today? Like uh, they couldn't, they could not give you this figure for free. They're like Hasbro shows up at your doorstep with a, a very fancy pillow with <laughs> all these four seasons playing. They present <laughs> you the figure, and you say, "I am sorry, Mister Hasbro, I cannot take that figure." <laughs> what's What's your pick? I don't want it. My trash is full. Yeah, exactly. I will say, oh man, it's hard. It's got to be one of those metallic Power Rangers. Yes, that's but, fair. Okay, so with that said, I went in uh, on Instagram. I wanted to see the head sculpts, mm-hmm. the the face sculpts. No, you know, minus the helmet. Okay. The Billy looks terrible. Let's see if we can get a. Oh my God. But but Adam and Rocky and Aisha look good. What oh, yeah. what went that wrong Billy with Billy? Terrible. What the hell is that? It's our it's Robert Pattinson. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you said you said the Rocky and yeah Rocky and uh, Adam they don't look that bad. That the face is good, but the hair color is off. Yeah, but you can you can see their likeness. Yes, yes, a little bit. Billy, what happened? That that what is not is him. That? <laughs> what is that? Okay, so is it Billy? Is it, yes. is it Blue yeah. Ranger? Yeah, he is the. I don't want it. Take it back. <laughs> um, it would it would definitely be a glitter ranger for me. Um, one because I hate glitter. Two. Mm. It's a horrible pollutant. It's filling up the ocean. I feel like saying pretty soon all fish will have some glitter in the fish. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, and uh, the Billy's bad. Um, that's pretty good. So uh, you said they're all. Eh. Yeah, yeah, Adam looks pretty good too. The Black Ranger. Let's see Adam. I'm a frog. Um. I think out of the three, Rocky Red Ranger looks the worst next to Billy. Yeah, but so, I don't. I, I'm not. This is your decision. Okay. Nope. <laughs> nope. I'm going to Kiko. I'm going to Kiko. All right. <laughs> there's not a chance in hell I would ever. Again, maybe the character's amazing in the movie, and I mm-hmm. want this figure, but I just don't know yet. So I'm just basing it off. Of, I. It's the new character. I have no attachment to this character. So, um, yeah. <laughs> All right. So that's that's our picks. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see what everybody else is saying. Um, a lot of glitter rangers. A lot of glitter rangers. Uh, <laughs> glitter rangers. Neca announced Pizza Monsters Wrecking for yes. Uh, Neca had some really good turtles drops today. Uh, Cannonball. That's fair. Metallic Power Rangers, non-shark Fortnites. You know, I it's hard to dig. I, they look great. I just I'm not a Fortnite fan. Yeah, so. I mean they're good looking figures. Yeah, you know they're doing the pinless technology on the series, mm-hmm. so yeah. I'll yeah. give them a shot. You know, looking at them. <laughs> Twilight Edition Power Rangers. Jason Clark, Adam Smedberg. Anything Fortnite? Uh, Ghost to have any figure with the Tony Stark head sculpt. <laughs> Uh, Mighty Morphin Glitter Rangers. Gary's on that train. Ghost have the Red Triceratops Fossil Transformers. <laughs> Riley Bob Billy doing his best Magnum Steel for sure. 
<laughs> a lot of blue steel call outs. The William Defoe. It's Will. I'm Willem Defoe, Blue Ranger. Uh, woo. Yeah. I so scared though. Blue steel. Uh, Hasbro becoming Funko because of the glitter. Glitter, glitter everywhere. <laughs> Strip club Power Rangers. Uh, Rose Akiko. Uh, Sparkle Rangers. <laughs> Old school. I love the Fortnite fix with their blank slate for because again, they're they great figures. It's glitter time. <laughs> Our Rangers glitter forts. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't argue with him about the glitter rangers. I think they're also awful, but I'd have something different. So uh both the glitter rangers and Akiko, you're officially getting the <laughs> Liberace <laughs> Rangers. Liberace rangers. <laughs> 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 Woo! It is bad. That's bad. I'm sorry. And I'm a Billy fan. Any of the OG Rangers. I'm, yeah. I got their back. What's going on with that one? Woo! It's bad. So bad. All right. Uh, T Ponder, I really want the NECA pizza monster, but I would rather hunt for it than <sighs> see the problem with the NECA stuff, man. Just, I don't know. Sometimes I'm just to pay the 15 bucks to ship it. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Ghost tab, the glitter megazord that won't be announced. Those <laughs> glitter megazord before an actual damn megazord. <laughs> anyway, all right. That's like Willem Dafoe. Uh, anyway, all right. That's it. So amazing stuff, aka the Transformers, everything else. Okay. And Power Rangers. Woo. Oh, yeah. It's a very, very whelming day. <laughs> a whole bunch of whelm. <laughs> all the whelms. All the whelms were had. All right. Well, that will do it for this special Friday edition of Toy Geeks. Make sure to hit that like button if you haven't done it already. Uh, they will not be a Toy Geeks this Sunday because we're doing it today. So uh, definitely uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us on this special Friday night edition of Toy Geeks. Normally, Sundays at 9 p.m. are sacred. That'll be next Sunday uh, where we'll talk about all the other toy news and whatever toy hauls from this week and next week. And uh, yeah, uh, definitely check out some of the other videos on the Geek Dad Live channel. Like again, I just uh, just uh, talked about some awesome Ghostbusters stuff with the mini press being revealed, and as well as more Ghostbusters merchandise. Yeah, I think that's it, John. Any final thoughts for you? Nope. Thank you for joining us on a Friday. Friday. <laughs> All right, everybody. Until next time. Wow, no, so they, wait, look, he wants to do a show every night, Shinobi? <laughs> <laughs> we got wives at home. We are home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, man. Well, anyway, just, you know what you do, Shinobi? Just, just play it. Just take this, because you missed yep. the beginning, and just hit play 9 o'clock Sunday night. Mm-hmm. And that'll and that'll do it for you. Put us on a loop. There you go. Uh, lots of toy news this week, indeed. Indeed, we'll cover it all next Sunday. We'll see you all next time. Hasta luego, and goodbye. <laughs>